Alright guys, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to go from Thingiverse to Cura for a full-on 3D print, time lapse, and I'm going to even airbrush paint this bad boy. So we can see it's a fridge magnet. Looks pretty awesome to me. Looks like something out of Naruto or something. We just download all files there. You have to unzip them. It didn't show it, but... So now we're gonna go into Cura, and unfortunately it didn't show my little drop down menu, but all I'm doing is finding my file that I just downloaded and clicking open. And now you can see it's opened my file. I'm showing you that I used a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. I changed it, if you change it physically, make sure you go in and change it in your software as well. Just showing you some of my settings there. All right, gonna try not to bore you too terribly much with this, but Here's the 3D print. All in all, it takes 56 minutes. So not too terribly long for something kind of big like this, you know, not too bad. Printing this on a Creality Ender 3. I've had this printer for a couple years now and it's a really good printer. I've not had, I've had a couple minor little issues, but nothing major with this thing level your bed if you're having problems look into look into different ways of leveling your bed because that's probably your issue so here we go 56 minutes later our part is done <clears throat> now if you see i've already got a little bit of paint on there i painted it the night before but my uh i just my lines weren't quite as crisp as i wanted so i am just decided i'm going to go ahead and just repaint the whole darn thing so here we are going over it in black Just really coating the whole thing with black. Giving it a second, hitting it with some air. All the paintings around you I've, I've done. I've been airbrush painting now for like two and a half months. So not too terribly long. Been doing some shirts and stuff too. Look forward to different little miniatures and things. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you enjoy you know or want to see some miniatures or things like that I can print them and I can paint them it would be kind of first times on all those but I can print them and paint them oh and again that part you just saw with the spray bottle that's something else if you're new to airbrushing that's a big one um, lots of people will want to just flush the cleaner that's the clear the clear um, paint jar that you saw me put on there that's actually just a cleaner or reducer and all that is to blow the rest of the previous color out of there. Sorry about my big fat head in the way. I don't think I do that again. Using an Iwata Revolution. Rev, sorry, Revolution. Picked it up off Amazon. Really good brush. Here we are just making some nice nice crisp lines in there i end up getting some overspray from the white kind of down into some of the crevices that i don't want it in so we're going to go ahead and come back with the black so just showing you the one side now we're going to do the other side <clears throat> got this vacuum table i built that from scratch video going to pop up right up here if you want to learn how I made this vacuum table, extremely useful for airbrush painting. It's an awesome, awesome accessory to have. And you know, I still filter all the air that comes out of the table before it goes into the, uh, to the main exhaust up top there. All right, so now we're just going in and kind of covering up some of that white overspray that we had there. Covering that up. And that's it guys, there it is. That is the little fridge shuriken. Again, let me know if you got any ideas for things you want me to print or do next. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found something you liked, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I'm trying to grow this channel.